Hello and welcome back to Red Game Tech for more of your daily gaming news with myself, Amata. Today is still the 27th of November and this time I have some news for you from D4, which is of course Dark Dreams Don't Die. And Hidetaka Sueri Suihiro has reaffirmed that the title will be an Xbox One exclusive and he said to a gaming bolt quote please don't expect to be able to play D4 on any platform besides the Xbox One and then he went on to clarify that the upcoming exclusive is not a sequel to his cult survival horror game which of course is a deadly premonition and he continued quote please understand that d4 is not a sequel to deadly premonition we're working hard on the production of this title d4 by setting up the foundation of emotional involvement and realistic senses and feelings I feel that we are basically recreating a kind of game that really, that's really the first of its kind. We're aiming to create the sort of game that will truly become an experience in the player's life, and I really think you'll like what we have in store. And elsewhere, in a different interview, Suihiro said that the implementation of Kinect will prove that the camera can benefit core gaming experiences. And he said, quote, This game is something the core will be able to enjoy and see why Kinect is a great enhancement to gaming as a whole. It would be awesome if this device could help start a new generation in the way that tablets, PCs, cell phones, portable audio players, wireless controllers and the PC mouse and keyboard managed to change our lifestyles over the past few years. Now, Suhiro also revealed that he had worked on Deadly Premonition 2, but unfortunately did not clarify as to whether or not we should actually be expecting to see it released any time soon, or perhaps ever. So basically just a reiteration to say that, hey guys, I know you want to play my new game, but you're going to be having to play, apply it on the Xbox One, as there's no chance that it's becoming on any other platform other than the Xbox One. And given that he's talked many times about the Kinect integration into the core of the game, although he has said that you can use the controller if you wish for this game previously, I have covered that in a video a long time ago, um, it's not really surprising that he wants to keep it on the Xbox One, even though you can use the controller if you wish, it's obvious that he wants to make it a game for the Kinect to make use of the Kinect technology and to prove hey guys look you can use the Kinect to good use in core games which is fair enough I think that the inclusion of the Kinect with the Xbox One is going to open up some interesting possibilities whereas before with the Xbox 360 not many users really went out and bought a Kinect because it was released after the fact you know quite a while after the fact as well um, every user has an Xbox One that has an Xbox One, sorry, has a Kinect. The developer could know that. They 100% know, okay, every user has a Kinect. I can make use of the Kinect features if I want, give them the option, and they will be able to use it because every owner has the device. So we could see it being used more effectively and being see, seeing it used more than we did with the Xbox 360. And of course, the improvements to the Kinect have been actually pretty astounding. I've read a few reviews of the Xbox One across the internet um, and everyone has said that yeah the Kinect is a lot better than it was it's got much better picking up of the movements and all that so yeah I definitely think there's potential for the Kinect to be interesting and I think D4 is going to be an interesting experiment in the Kinect to say the least anyway that is me done for this video hope you've enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time